What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're gonna be checking out Going Under. A roguelike beat-em-up, I guess. That's what it has itself touted as, so we're gonna check it on out. We're gonna spend about 30 minutes playing the game, and if after watching this you find that you want it, you want to claim it for yourself, you can absolutely do that. I'll have a link for you down below. Or you can give it the old pass a -rooney. That's always an option, too. Uh, let's go ahead and start playing. Spend as much time with this thing as we possibly can so that we can dive into the guts and talk about what's working and what ain't. The beautiful city of Neo Cascadia. Did you have a nice monorail ride? We at Cubicle would like to congratulate you on joining the ranks of over 100,000 employees hired through the Impoverished Intern Initiative. As the largest e-commerce corporation in the nation-state, we're proud to support the next generation of innovators. It might be hard to believe, but Cubicle started out as nothing more than a great idea from someone just like you. Like so many Neo-Cascadian success stories, Cubicle began as a startup, just a couple guys in a garage with nothing but a dream and a modest cash injection. That's why we're paying it forward. Since the inception of our company we've acquired countless startups and provided them with funding and hard workers to help accelerate their success. Our friendly integrated AI has assigned you as a marketing assistant at our latest member of the family, Fizzle Beverages. By inventing a sparkling water that's also a meal replacement, Fizzle cleverly disrupted two industries at once. There's no better place for an intern to grow than somewhere like Fizzle, where you'll never be the smartest person in the room. When you're not hard at work with Fizzle, you'll have plenty of time to experience some of the rich Pacific Northwestern culture our great city has to offer. Now, let's go over some ground rules for your internship. First of all, never, under any circumstances, explore beneath the- I am um, not to be rude, but like I already know this stuff. I had to watch the same video when I played online. Oh, is that so? Okay, then we can skip the formalities and get right to the fun part. I bet you're excited to meet your new co-workers, Jacqueline. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. In that case, let's get this icebreaker. Uh, dude, I hate icebreakers. Are, is it just me, or are icebreakers like the worst? It's just like going around the room and forcing me to talk to a bunch of people I don't want to talk to. Like, every time I have a job orientation, they do the same thing, like, let's go around the room, everybody say your name, how old you are, and what your main interest is. <laughs> My name is Matthew, uh, I'm 34, and I'm interested in not being here. <laughs> I took this job because I needed money or I would be homeless. But make no mistake, I definitely don't want to be here. That's the point that I'm trying to get across. <laughs> like every corporate job I've ever had. <laughs> just follow me. Did that guy just run off with like a half a severed human leg? Not again. What? What was that? Yeah, uh, the monsters have started escaping from the basement again. I hate to do this to you on your first day, Jackie, but... Wait, do what to me? Well, we can't go having a meeting with that thing running around the office, so I just needed to do me a small little favor and go kill the guy for me. What? Like, kill the- like, kill him? Right now? I don't think I've ever killed a person before. Yeah, and you still won't have. You're probably not used to city life just yet, but here on Neo Cascadia, everybody kills their first monster sooner or later. If it makes it easier, just pretend you're in a video game and picture its hit points decreasing every single time you land a blow. Consider this your first task as a, as a Fizzle Beverage's newest intern. Make us proud. Alright, I guess I'll go kill a monster, I guess. Dude, like, you know their corporate liability umbrella is not gonna cover you if you murder a guy on behalf of the company, dude. Like, you know that's not gonna- they're gonna throw you under the bus. Don't do it. Just don't take this internship. Walk away. Alright, well apparently I can run around. Uh, looks like I do have some basic fisticuffs available. It's got kind of a very, very cartoony animation style to it, which I can dig. It, we do have, like, a dodge roll. Apparently I can beat things with an iMac too, just in case we wanted to do that, so that's a that's an option. There's a fizzle beverage over here. I gotta find the monster and kill it. Alright, where did it go? Pick up items and attack. Yeah, I feel like I already did that. There we oh I broke Oh when I broke it though, it like electrified him. That's pretty can I pick that up? No. I was gonna pick that up and beat him to death with like the uh, with the action. Yeah, chairs, there we go. I like the idea. there. I'll take another laptop. We got a nice stun the last time we used the lap oh my god, the camera is Doing strange things that I don't know how I feel about them. Okay, there we go. Now I got it covered. Apparently the camera is like tethered to my booty crack. 
There you go. That wasn't so hard, was it? I feel sick to my stomach. We've got some crates of antacid flavor fizzle in the back. You did a great job, Jackie. All right, thanks. Now there's only one tiny little extra step that we've got to take care of, and that's to go down to the dungeon and kill the rest of them. What? No way, dude. You need like an exterminator or something. It's not going to be hard, I promise. You took out that one really easily. There's probably like three or four more lurking down the slide. I said no, man. Just why'd you put in a slide? Why did you put in stairs? Ugh. Find somebody else. I'm not going down there. All right, so be it then. I had really high hopes for you, Jackie. I reviewed your resume personally. But if you haven't got the motivation to work at Fizzle, maybe I should ask Avi to reconsider your position here. Wait. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll go down there and I'll take a look. All right, I knew I saw a spark. Uh, come back and see me as soon as you've cleared out all the monsters, okay? Don't take too long down there. Stand-ups in 15 minutes. We also used to have, like, when I worked at Best Buy, we would have these dumbass meetings in the morning that were like, you had to do it every single day, dude. They were like, so there's nothing worse when you work for a big corporation. Like, in the morning, they would have all the departments come together, like, before opening, and we would have, like... I don't even know what it is, okay? Like, you know, you know, like, when you were on the Little League baseball team... And, like, you would go and everybody put their hand in the middle and be like, Hey, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. You know, like, you would do that whole thing to, like, hype everybody up. Best Buy used to make us do that, too. Luckily, I worked at Geek Squad, which means that, like, everyone hates you and tries to avoid you as much as possible. Because, like, Geek Squad is kind of like the leper IP of the entire Best Buy family. And, and so, like, we wouldn't have to attend that. But I would still have to hear it, like, out of my peripheral healing. Like, out of my peripheral hearing. I would still have to hear other people doing it. And I always thought to myself, man... That really seems like it sucks, and I'm glad that I don't have to do it. <laughs> uh, uh, just the the dystopian life of being an entry level worker at a at a major corporation, a Jabo sword and a Jabo. <laughs> at least they gave us a real weapon this time around. I'm not trying to beat somebody to death with some Panther named I I O like I O S edition. Listen, man, come here. Focus on. Oh, I can lock onto him. Nice, dude. All right, I'm locking onto you. Now I stab you to death. There you go. I've poked you to death. I got poked on my first day at work. Fantastic. Uh, what do we have over here? We've got a broom. I don't think a broom is quite as deadly as a spear. I'm gonna swap out that spear though, because it seems like it might have better durability. There's also a bone club down here. All right. Uh, looks like I can carry three weapons, so I guess I'll try this bone club. Hopefully, it's not made out of the bones of previous interns. That'd be a little bit concerning. Uh, I don't see anything else inside of here that seems to be something that I want, so off we go. Let's take a look around. Hey, you over there can roll through danger. All right, let's go for it. Dude, the club actually is kind of good. How did he fall into the chair? I wonder if that's programmed. He fell into a sitting position in that chair right there. I'm actually kind of impressed. Take that bone club right there. I would like to have some kind of like little meter that lets me know how long it's going to be before <gasps> I can beat them to death with like a giant coffee, with like a giant coffee carafe, I guess. Is that what that thing is called? What is this? Learn skills to increase your power. All right, I'm going to do my best here. Retaliatory. We do double damage after we get hit or we can go intimidating. We can knock them down when we enter a room. I'm going to go with that one right there because I like the idea. <gasps> Would it Hold on. What is that? There's like a big spiky club over there. Hold on. I want it. Dude, if I could jump right now, I'd be so happy. Can I jump? It's sparkling, dude. Like, I know I can pick that up. Let me have it. Oh, I was hoping we could get it with the bar stool maybe and like break that thing and have it fall down because it looks like it'd be a pretty sick weapon. But like, I don't know how to get to it. <gasps> we dealt damage right there. I saw it. Yes! I am the champion of destructible environments. Now I will destroy all of you with this weird spiky corn dog. Let's go. Dude, I just like, I learned that I have a real severe love for corn dogs. There's this restaurant called Wiener Schnitzel. I've never gone there in my life. It's been down the street from my house since I was a kid. Like, I have always lived inside of, like, a driving radius of the Wiener Schnitzel. All right? and I, But I've never gone in. I've never partook in uh, of the schnitz. And so anyways, um, we were helping my friend move, and her parents ordered Wiener Schnitzel. And I thought to myself, all right, I'm not feeling particularly adventurous today, but we'll see what happens. I'll eat whatever they bring over, you know what I mean? Like, I'll deal with it because it's free food. And frankly, as an adult, I've learned never to turn down free food. Even if it's not optimally 
the free food that you always desired, it, it's still like, you know, free food's free food, man. So it's better than going hungry. Oh no, dude. My corn dog's almost broken already. All right, I guess I'll take a bone club. I just, I don't, I don't want my corn dog to break while my greater passions are, are, are residing on the battlefield, all right? The camera's a little weird. Like, I'm about to get used to the camera. Like, the camera does not really, like, work in a way that, like, any other game functions. So, like, what most games would do is you would come in through this door right here, and then it would swing to, like, an isometry almost, so that you could see how far the enemies were away from every angle, and you could swing at them. But, like, with this game, like, it's tethered to you, and you just kind of rotate it freely. And, like, in a game that takes place outside, that would feel really rat- that would feel, like, really normal. But, like, on a game that takes place indoors, like, you expect, like, Q and E or something to, like, rotate the camera. And so, like, I'm still kind of getting used to it, like, being inside of an indoor environs. And, and like a small indoor environs and rotating. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just taking me a second to get used to it. Uh, regarding the unacceptably long bathroom breaks taken by contractors from now on, all of the toilet seats are going to be angled at 45 degrees to encourage. I saw that. They posted that on Reddit. That's actually a thing a company is doing right now where all the toilets are at a tilt so people like can't go to the bathroom for long periods of time. And I'm like, dude, I get diarrhea like every 72 hours. Like I, sometimes I need to take a longer bathroom break, okay? It is what it is. I smell something. I smell a productivity blocker. Hey, are you the boss around here? I got sent down here to let you know that you guys aren't supposed to be. We have no time for holdups. Not at this stage of the job. Eliminate this blocker, contractors, and then we will resume our daily sync up. Do not try to sneak away to the bathroom after the battle or I will know. Dude, there's like a lot of bad guys in here. I am not under the opinion that this spear is great for crowd control situations. Oh my god, there's so many. I just need some of you guys- oh my god, there's so many. I need some of you guys to die though. Like, I really sincerely do. There's so many, dude. There's so many. I wonder if I was supposed to die right there. I feel like if I had had a better weapon like the corn dog, I would have been okay. Because that thing had a big sweep to it that took out like five enemies at a time. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me for the daily stand-up. Dude, the daily stand-up is literally that thing that they do at Best Buy. It's that meeting you have to do every morning. And they're like, all right, so uh, PCHO, you guys did a great job yesterday. You're 12% over cap. <laughs> like Magnolia, we're going to need you guys to bring it up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you guys told us it was mandatory. Thank you, Swamp. First things first, I'd like to introduce you to our new intern. Everybody, let's put your hands together for Jacqueline Fiasco. Dude, that's a dope rapper name. Jackie Fiasco? That's a sick name. I mean, it's kind of like Lupe Fiasco, but it's a sick name. If my name was Jackie Fiasco, I would be at least 80% cooler than I am right now. Like, I don't know how cool I am right now, but I'd be 80% more than that. Like, multiplicity. Like, so, like, you would multiply it by 180%, not by 80%, because that would make you less cool. Anyways. Uh, I'm here. I'm here. Am I late? A new hire. Jeez, the budget's tight enough as is. I do believe Miss Fiasco is unpaid, Tappy. Oh, thank God. Jacqueline, why don't you break the ice by telling us a bit about... See, here we go. Start with your name, your favorite flavor of fizzle, and your deepest, most passionate lives. Dude, that's a big icebreaker. That's a large question for the breaking of the ice. You just told us her name, dude. Be cool, Kara. Uh, my fizzle flavor, I guess, is like Sketchuan Apricot. I dream of one day having health insurance. Bold choice of flavor. I like her already. Jackie is here for a, uh, what was the ad for again? Marketing. A marketing internship. Who's she interning for, then? I thought A.V. took care of all the marketing. Try to be more open-minded, Kara. Obstinance equals obsolescence. Uh, just because of our advertising PR is handled by a cutting-edge neural network doesn't mean that there isn't room for a human touch here and there. Well said, sir. There's no such thing as a good... They call... That's like a neural network is really just a fancy term for, like, this algorithm that my buddy made. It's a really, really fancy term to make algorithms sound better because there's no such thing as a good algorithm. All algorithms are varying degrees of bad. There's no. S Let me tell you this. Do you ever find anything on Netflix recommended that you actually want to watch even though it says it's a 99% match? I rest my case. I never do. There's no such thing as a good algorithm. All algorithms are varying degrees of bad. Ask her for, as for specific duties, I'm sure Avi will come up with something. Until then, think of Jackie like our own little office assistant. If you need a helping hand with anything, don't be afraid to ask her. 
I need to admit, it would be splendid to have someone test my newest flavors out on. No, dude, because that's how I get turned into a giant blueberry. I've seen Willy Wonka. I know exactly what happens trying new flavors. And I could always use a second pair of eyes on company finances. Whatever, I guess I'm on board. The less I have to rely on machines around here, that the better. Hey, that's the that's the spirit right there. I like her the best. You mean even I get to tell her what to do? Score, bro. Nice to meet you, everybody. That's the welcoming team I know and love. And speaking of which, how about we close out this stand-up with a company ch I knew it, dude! I called it! I called it every time, bro! Oh, my heart hurts right now. Oh, work is the worst! Uh, why can't we all just come to work, sit in our cubicle, not talk to each other, address each other only through email, go to lunch break, come back, do the exact same thing for another three hours, go home? That should be what every job is right there. Just casually ignoring each other while we get our work done without any supervision in our cubicle. Nobody talks to each other and then we just go home. That's like, I have a friend that works in a cubicle and they say it's like dystopian. I was like, dude, I wish I had a cubicle. Have you ever had a job like this where every morning you've got to do like a company chant and people are always like coming by and be like, how you doing there champ? How are those numbers looking? You guys are creeping up, man. You guys are at 90%, one more big sale, little brother. You're like, oh my god, dude. I swear to God, if you try to be my if you try to be my manager friend one more time, you try one more time to be my friend and my manager at the same time. Fantastic idea, sir. <clears throat> what do we make? Fizzle. What can it do? Replace breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And why do we make it? Come on, guys, you know this one. It's to make the world a better place. Oh yeah, how could I forget? They usually get it right. It's a Monday. Anyways, we're like a family around. Yeah, that's what every job that sucks says. <laughs> You'll see soon enough, Jackie. All right, that includes our daily stand-up. Have a great work day, everybody. Jackie, stay after the meeting. We need to discuss our goblin problem. All right, reach the bottom of joblin and defeat the boss. All right, so did you make it? Make it where? To the bottom. To the bottom of the dungeon where the boss hangs out. Does it look like I made it? I got my ass kicked, man. I'm gonna be real with you, I don't think it's even possible to make it that far. That's no good, Jackie. You're gonna need to start thinking more positively if you want to make any progress. You don't think anybody else might be better suited for this job? The ad said that this was a marketing internship, and I'm not cut out for fighting monsters. I don't like the situation any more than you do, Jackie, but with those goblins constantly crawling up from the underground and stealing office supplies, we're never gonna hit our milestones. You deal with the monster issue, I promise we'll have you writing social media posts faster than you can hit the dabs. Or whatever it is that kids your age do. All right, so you want me to try again? You guessed it. Hang in there, Jackie. You'll be done with this task before you know it. If I get to the bottom of the dungeon, do I get health insurance? I feel like it's a valid question. Like, what is the what is the reward here that I'm looking after? Look, it's one of those offices where they let people bring their dogs in. And they, like, have everything. They even have the little lines on the floor and stuff. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yep. Yep, I never got to work at a startup like this. I guess it's not a startup anymore. I, I never got to work at a place like this, but like they they've gotten the finer points of, of, of corporate fake hyping you up down, I guess. Hey, my name's Jackie. What's up, babe? Name's Swamp, don't wear it out, dude. Swamp like a marsh. Well, babe, marsh contains no wooded plants by definition, whereas a swamp can support many varieties of tree. But yeah, pretty much only it's spelled with an O. Nice to meet you, Jackie. We should hang out. Sure thing, dude. It's true. I live in a marsh and there's no trees. It's just endless reeds. It's just endless reeds as far as the eye can see. What's it like being an accountant for Fizzle? Oh, you know, here and there. I run the numbers, I tell Marv we're over budget, Marv tells Ray, Ray ignores it, and then we rinse and repeat. The system hasn't failed us so far. You're the programmer here? Lead engineer. You like computers then. Who told you that? I'll kick their ass. Who's a good girl? See, you can pet the dog. 10 out of 10 IGN, dude. Does it matter? She's a dog. She's a she, though. Who's a good girl? Rarf. Rarf, rarf. I mean, I do like a wiener dog. I prefer a pug or like a Frenchie, but like wiener dogs are cool too. Like honestly, I'm down with any variety of dog. I think most dogs are rad. What is this right here? Can I break it? No? Alright. What does this say? Hold on, what was this? The employee kiosk? I get a mentor? I can be my own mentor. I like that. That's my kind of self-motivated working right there. I dig it. Alright, back down into the dungeon.
I feel like this game's entire aesthetic was based off the intro to Silicon Valley. <laughs> like, I feel like they were like, what if we made a game, but it looked like that marine, marine, like that section of like the opening to Silicon Valley. What if it looked like that? And somebody said, God damn it, you're a genius, Jenkins. Let's make that game. Listen, man, you hit me one more. Oh my God. If, dude, I'm really having a hard time targeting right now. I'm going to be honest with you. I should probably lock onto everything. I'm having a massively huge, like hugely hard time. Is that a shank up there, dude? It is. I was going to say, I'm having like a really, really hard time. Like, uh, like just hitting enemies. Like, I, and it's probably just me being bad. I'm not even going to blame it on the game. Nah, man. I'm not dealing with you right now. You can back up off me. On the plus side, even though I'm not getting paid, every single time I kill one of these guys, they drop something on the ground and I can loot it. So that's pretty sweet. What was that? Hold on. What is that right there? What was that? Was that like a was that like a fried chicken wrap, dude? Oh my god! When I was like in college, I used to go like at least twice a week. There was this diner at the place where I was going to college, and they made this like deep fried chicken wrap where it was like fried chicken strips inside of like a Caesar salad wrap with like a flour tortilla and like my dudes, and it had like ranch dressing in it. Uh, it was one of the best things I've ever tasted in my life, and then they discontinued it, and then I moved away. That's right, it was so traumatic for me that they got rid of the food that I liked that I just moved away. I couldn't be a part of that county or that city any longer. I was like, I'm out. I can't do this. I gotta go. Like, if I stay here one second longer, I am going to lose my freaking mind. What does a thumbtack do? Do I just shiv a bitch with it? Yeah, you just shiv a bitch with it. Alright. What is this- what is this pencil deal over here? What does it do? It is also a shank. Okay. Uh, we've got retaliatory again, and we've got room for growth. I can get an empty heart. I'll take it. I already have an empty heart because I've worked in corporate environments like this for a large chunk of my life. Like, my heart was largely hollowed out by my bosses and managers like they had a kind of a wood carving spoon, and my heart was the thing that was being hollowed out one day at a time just by the whittling and nagging of their existence. And so anyways... I already have one of those. I didn't even need to get one right. The dude stabbing somebody to death with a pencil is not as easy as John Wick made it look. Like, John Wick made it look a lot easier than it actively was. Whew. I want that. Hold on. How do I get that right there? That looks like an actual weapon. It pleases me. There we go. Oh, my God. All right. What did, that dude's like a little ninja right there, man. He's got like jukes and stuff. Dude, if you don't Dude, if you don't back up off me, dude, you got to be kind of spry. Like this game requires you to actually be like pretty good at blocking and dodging and stuff, man. So, I'm assuming that little number next to it is like the quality of the items. This is like a quality 6 or something. Where does this go? <gasps> Giant meat. Oh my god. I ate it too, so that's pretty cool. I was hoping that I was just going to beat people to death with a giant meat hawk like I was Bonk from back in like the uh, Turbo Graphics days. Although I guess Bonk didn't beat people with the meat. He ate the meat, and then like he progressively got meaner and meaner and gnarlier and gnarlier the more meat that he ate. Oh, that's just a free one? I don't have to do anything for it? Alright, dude. I'm not... Ah, oh, dude, no! Oh, dude, I get the car? Yes, dude, vehicular homicide. I'm about it. That's, like, thematically one of the most rage-satisfying ways to eliminate your enemies with vehicular homicide. Oh, it's a bomb? Remember to leave a rating. I was trying to figure out how to get it out of my hand. I think I had to, like, throw it with E or something. I was pressing buttons, trust me. All right, the intern Jackie was defeated on floor one. I'm not really... Oh, I like how they give me a little readout here, too, telling me how inferior I am. I like it. Dude, this is a pretty good roguelite. I'm actually kind of enjoying it. I'm having fun right now. I'll admit it freely. I'm having a good time. Where does this go? Can I punch it? No. So, like, you're telling me their entire corporate office hangs out and has tube slides. That's how they get around. What does a gal got to do to get coffee around here? All we got is that coffee-flavored fizzle, but half a can of that stuff makes me feel bloated. I know you're new here, but I don't suppose you could pick me up an espresso machine from my desk. All right. That's doable. It seem, they do seem to drink a lot of coffee down in the dungeon. The dungeon? Yeah, the dungeon beneath the office. 
I will never understand your generation's crazy lingo. Come back with the espresso machine before I pass out, all right? Apparently, we got to bring back an espresso machine. What does this guy want over here? You ever just, like, try lighting a bunch of stuff on fire out of boredom? No? It's pretty fun, to be honest. Great way to release some pent-up anger. Not that I have any of that. I don't know, man. It sounds kind of dangerous. You would think so, but it's not so scary once you know the secret trick. The trick is to not stand in the fire. Damn, why didn't I think of that? Next time you're in the dungeon, you ought to try picking up one of those big torches and just going to town. You're not going to regret it. Light a bunch of stuff on fire. I like how it's written as though the character said it in the quest log. That's pretty rad. Let's go look upstairs. Why are we so much smaller than everybody else around here? Are we, like, malnourished? Like, what happened that everybody else grew way larger than us? Like, even the programmer is more stout than we are. Like, I'm pretty sure my ass is just a sphere. Like, that's it. It's just like a, it's just a sphere. With, with like, two noodle legs behind it. There's a yoga mat over here. Okay, a stapler. Have you seen my stapler? Alright. Uh, let's see. I guess there's nothing left to do but go down into the dungeon. What else are we gonna do? I mean, that right there seems like really like a liability hazard. Like, they're definitely want to... I got a feeling that that right there is just one of those things. That that uncovered landing right there? Like, I don't know, dude. Like, I'm thinking you may either want to expand your insurance coverage, because that's a large lawsuit waiting to happen, or just put in a handrail, man. Just put in a handrail. I've fallen off of it like four times, and I've only been here for like a minute. All right, this dude over here has got to get murdered. Oh, you just drop it like that, gotcha. All right, I'm going to bash that dude over the head with that. Apparently, it knocks him the hell out. And then we'll just finish him off. And we're going to take... Where's his... He's got a ping pong paddle? That's not really the quality of weapon that I was looking for, to be honest with you. But I suppose it'll do for right now. There we go. We got him. All right. So let's pick up... We got like a sword over here. I'm going to pick up the bone club. Just one thing at a time. Slowly increasing our repertoire of murderous implements. There we go. I like the little, like, digital noises and stuff that they make. Dude, I do want to hit somebody with this, like, really, really badly, but it's got such a wind-up that it makes me nervous. Oh, I have to carry it with me, like, all the time, too. I guess I'll... I guess I can eat the lettuce wrap. That sounds good. Oh, I can pick up the entire timber steak, too. Well... Oh, apparently the Jabo sword is pretty good, dude. It says seven, and seven is higher than three, so I'm gonna take Jabo swords. Oh, it's fast. Doesn't hit that hard, but it's quick. Nice. Okay, I'm using Jabo swords from now on. Jabo swords are my new best friend. What is that right there? Like a job? Oh, it's a tablet. Okay, it's a tablet style. <gasps> Crossbow. Huh, we got limited ammo, but it does seem to hurt. It deals damage. I mean, it's it's pretty good. I do like that they have guns. There we go. It's allowing us to clear the area pretty fast. What's over here? Like a shop? I have 47 company tickets, so like, what can I buy? I can get it retaliatory. Who are you, dude? Let's talk. Are you buying anything? Loitering isn't permitted here. Are you going to attack me or something? Why would I do that? It seems pretty bad for business. Okay, if you're not going to attack... Oh, there's avocado toast, dude. I love avocados. Avocados are the best. I have, like, literally nothing to complain about when it comes to avocados. Like, I eat avocados probably two or three times a week. Sometimes I just get an avocado, and I just eat it for dinner. Like, that's how much I like avocados. Like, I just eat an avocado for dinner. Like, mmm, tasty. Uh, yeah, I had a feeling he was going to try to do that. I had uh, I had my sus... Uh, a sus barrel. Gotcha. Yeah, let's maybe not hang out next to the barrel of sus. It seems like it might not work out great for me. Like, why would you even have that down here? It's so unsafe. What is that? The Skellicaster? Dude, I was going to say, it looked like a guitar. Ooh, upgrades. Pugilist or clap back. After taking damage, you can knock down. I like how it has the clap hands emoji for, like, those annoying tweets, too. That's pretty good. All right, uh, let's go ahead and we will continue. Oh, hold on. Come here, come here, come here. No, dude, I want to... Oh, it goes stale? Why? Oh, it was only out for like a second, dude. Oh, no. I was going to eat it, too, because I have health missing. I was excited about it. I, I saw a job position. What's this? 
defeat enemies quickly. I'm gonna need this car. Yeah, you're gonna have to give that to me. Sorry. That's what's happening here. Yep, now we do burnouts. Now we do some donuts. That's what's up. Oh, the car blows up. That sucks. Okay. The bougie cube. I got scared for a second. I didn't know what it was going to do. We got a bunch of money, though. And we got another Skelecaster, so I'll take that. Like, that is like those little loot crate things, man. Like, they are what they are. Like, I, I personally like those little crates. People always get them for me for, like, Christmas or whatever. And that's why my house is just full of crap. Like, just plastic crap that's definitely going to land up in a landfill somewhere when I die. And, like, nobody wants it. Like, for now, I put it on, like, a shelf. Which is better than putting it in a landfill. Like, make no mistake, I don't really want it. <laughs> like, don't don't worry, I, I don't want the thing. But, like, it being on my shelf is better than it crowding a landfill. So we kind of leave it where it is. Apparently this Jabo sword is like a special one that has bonus damage. That's pretty cool. What else is going on around here? Anything else I can pick up? Alright. Down we go. I'm going to try to take out as many of them as I possibly can before this gets worse. Jabo Sword did a pretty good job right there. It's a shame that we're running out of time just as my, like... Do they, though? I'm not convinced. What is that? The Penny Puncher? Oh, cool. So, like, when I crit against an enemy, I get money. That's pretty rad. This game's called Going Under. I'm actually really impressed by it. Everything from the aesthetic to the humor to, like, the impact of the weapons to the sound design feels pretty good. And I've got a suspicion that this is going to sneak under people's radars if they're into games like Binding of Isaac or whatever. So, anyways, I will see you all next time. Thank you for being here. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. It helps me out as a content creator. Check out my Discord if you wanted to hang out with the community and get involved with the conversation. And then you can also check out my Twitch stream where I'm live most days of the week. Although, right now, I'm taking a hiatus. So, like, I'll be back at some point to doing, you know, lots of streamy stuff. But right now, streaming like once or twice a week just to kind of give myself a, a little bit of time off since 2020 has been rough. Later, guys.